this is an interesting episode that I would like your um your opinion on Stormy as what? a professor of sciencey things. Sciencey oh, things. Sciencey things. Sciencey wincey stuff. <laughs> um a matter of time with a black hole. I, I, yeah. I know a little bit about yes. time distortion science. I, I like I like scientific theories and things, but I don't get into the minutiae, so I don't understand the math. I don't understand the detail. And I'll, I'll be saying that straight off the bat. I watched this episode where, obviously, um, there's, there was a new black hole appeared um, on a planet that they were exploring. <clears throat> that black hole, there was then distorting time, so it looked like on the video thing, that on the video feed, that they were frozen or talking slowly or whatever they were all talking like james t kirk james. Um, and then the, obviously there's e. the, the, yeah the e. um the black hole that was then plugged into the stargate somehow and was powering it so that it didn't shut down after 38 minutes so that was interesting e. that we got to see a bit more mechanics of the stargate i thought that was interesting mm -hmm. how that limit of 38 minutes was because of power that comes back in other episodes but from a Sciency, wincey point of view. The time dilation and things never seemed quite right to me, and definitely the way that it was projecting through the gate. Um, not the fact that it did, but the fact that the way it worked never quite seemed right to me. What, 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 what do you guys think? Okay, okay, so as a story, it worked kind of well right uh we would have to um <clears throat> okay so the effects of gravity is based on mass and distance let's say you have two objects the closer they are the more the attraction is uh the bigger they are the more attraction is so when you combine the the deep the the distance is very close and the mass is very close so you can get great gravimetric distortions now <clears throat> the way the gate works as premised in the series is that you're opening a wormhole from one place to another. Uh -huh. And I think I haven't studied this. I haven't read anything about it. It really it's <clears throat> anyway, we have to accept that the time that these guys are on the planet, the SG team that's on the, the, the planet that's, being torn apart by a localized black hole that that time that that gravitation when it gets let's say gravity the <clears throat> gravity is 1g at the uh stargate with with the uh off world mm -hmm. xg team is is one let's, say, let's assume it's a one well we also have to assume that the gravity also equals one throughout the entire distance of the wormhole right okay so when it gets to Earth, I mean, how many, you know, billions of light years, millions of light years are they away from? So we have to say, well, gravity, if, if the if in this wormhole, somehow the um, the uh, the Stargate trans transmits or, or, or um, keeps the gravity going and transmits it along with the the material objects, the mass. And. I, I think that's something where the scientifically they kind of jump the shark because we've seen, uh, you know, <laughs> like, uh, you know, like, like they will be in like, uh, <clears throat> you know, bright desert or something and they'll come through and then it's just like normal illumination. Right. Uh -huh. the, the photons don't cross over, but the gravity does. Uh -huh. so, uh, to me, I mean, if there is, I mean, there's lots of little schisms and there's lots of uh, videos on YouTube concerning like, the, the physics of, of of the gravity and the black hole and you know um <clears throat> jack dangling over the black hole with a cable mm. that's destructing around him as he's trying to place the charge or whatever it was but for me it was like well how is the gravity transmitting or translating or traversing the the wormhole how's that energy being transversed i always wonder as well that if the gravity was strong enough that it was distorting time to the degree that it did in that video but it didn't like have any other. I would have thought the gravity would have to be so strong to distort time by that factor that it wouldn't it cause more harm. I mean, it broke a window, but it broke a window like ages after. You know what I mean? It's like 
it was distorting time by days by a factor of 10 or 20 or something but it, mm -hmm. it broke a window <clears throat> towards the end that was very yeah, cool that, that was because coming really slowly towards them i really like that that, <laughs> that was because cool. the 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 gate basically had a lensing effect on it so mm. the closer you were to the stargate it was the, coming out like an out yeah yeah like we didn't <clears throat> We didn't feel the effects. So you say we were at the gate. We didn't feel the effects of time. But if you were further away, it would have been like days, weeks, months. You know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like that. No, that's true. Yeah, <clears throat> so it was an immediate but thing. Going on to what you said about uh, how would the gravity transfer? Two-way travel between a gate is possible because we know radio waves travel two two ways. Yeah. So I don't know. A, I, 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 gravity is like the fundamental force of of the universe. Surely that mm -hmm. can with it can't, can't be destroyed. <coughs> you can't destroy gravity as well. It's just, maybe still we can, we can say you can, but can you? as far as that as far as that can way, you, you can't destroy gravity, so no. it can travel both ways. Mm -hmm. Okay, so gravity comes from mass essentially, you know, mm -hmm. uh, it, it comes from mass. Uh, <clears throat> so if you turn mass into total, if you can totally convert all uh, all mass to energy, you no longer have mass to generate gravity. Something along like that. that. That's just my low-level calculus-based physics understanding of the uh, of how that works. Mm. Uh, let's. Uh, well, but we now we have wormholes do. that don't exist as well, which is a little bit difficult to get too sciencey wincey on. Surely. Okay. Know. Then there's the whole thing about wormholes. Do they actually exist? Have we ever seen one? You know. You know. It's just. Dude, we we're we're still struggling with uh, magnetars. You know. <laughs> Mm, yeah, exactly. I do wonder if it, if the, 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 the uh, Matt makes a good point in that it's supposed to be plugged into the wormhole. And that's what's supposed to, the wormhole supposed to. So the black hole is supposed to be powering the Stargate, but wouldn't it have shredded it by that point? But, but I suppose that's getting we're getting into two minutiae. Right. But if we're going on the ninety lines, I'm not sure the black hole was actually powering the Stargate. The way I saw it, it wasn't powering mm. it at all. It was literally the time dilation effect. The gate was open on that side, but because the time dilation effect was so long, uh, I suppose so, that's yeah. why the gate stayed open for so long. I mean, like, the circuit it was, still... it, was, it was only oh, like two right. seconds, two three seconds, wasn't it? Like um, between on when the gate side, opened and they saw our the side. It was. Oh, that's a good point. That's a good yeah. point, Matt. So yeah. I don't think it's actually yeah. powering the gate. I think it literally is just time dilation. Just the force. It's been forced to because. Well, yeah. that goes into when we're talking about time travel, an episode that is actually I think quite popular within the fandom. Uh, the episode 19.